Hey everybody, it's PC here, and welcome back to the Dice the Sphere program. And as you can see, I'm back on Less F1 right now. I am ready to go. We are going to start putting some structure up to our cells up there. I have been busy, like very busy. I have crafted a few things. I have made... Uh, I picked up a whole bunch of these. I made some quantum processors. These things are very difficult to make. Uh, the quantum chip requires two processors and two of these plane filters. Plane filters requires a tit titanium glass, which requires glass, titanium, and water. And then also it requires uh, the Casimir crystal, which is uh, this thing here, the titanium crystal, and so more titanium. And uh, what do I look at here? Oh yeah, the Casimir crystal. And then graphene and hydrogen. So that's an interesting one to make. I might have to get this mass produced, but I don't know if this is actually being used for anything else other than the quantum processor the quadrant processor and this is only being used for these two individual items i do have 14 of them on me i have actually made a whole bunch of stuff to make more of them i think i should be able to make oh, 14 uh the reason why i need to make 14 is because one actually we're going to cancel that because we're not going to do that right now because we want to place some place building on we're going to go ahead and build this but i need to pick up these wave uh these gravitation lenses first now, these can be crafted into um, we, uh, warp, what is it, space warpers. Now, I can use this to actually travel to other planets, but I don't think I can go to other stars yet until I unlock, uh, we go to upgrades here, uh, universe of exploration. Or is that just be able to view? Maybe I can go out there, but I can't view it. So I still have, probably still have to research that to figure out where I'm going. And others, some rare ores I have not been able to find. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead. Well, not that I haven't been able to find, but uh, it's like these alternate recipes, like the Casimir crystal. You can find this. There's an actual ore crystal you can find, and same with the graphene. There's actually um, some fiber you can find out there too. Just like how I can get that from there, and same with the organics, you can... Well, that's a bad example. But as you can see, that crystal is actually used in other places. Uh, and then lithium. Apparently there's lithium out there too, and I haven't found lithium either. But anyways, we want to go to buildings, we want to go to here, and we're going to craft that. It's going to take 30 seconds. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to craft two of these rockets. Why? Uh... I actually find out why how many solar cells can I make. I can make eight. I need to make two of these, so I need solar cells actually. And what do you know? I have a whole box of them right here. Make nine. Uh that's probably because that's all the deuterium I have. It's not exactly the easiest thing to make, so I gotta use Ethereum to actually make it. And same with these uh, super magnetic rings. And I've thought about at mass producing these, but Again, these aren't really used for much. I could probably use them for fuel, so I'm not using the hydrogen, but I still gotta use the uh, hydrogen to make the deuterium and all that stuff, so probably won't. But anyways, uh... Oh, I was rambling enough. Anyway, let's go ahead and make nine for now, because I have no idea how this thing actually works. Alright, we want... Not transportation. Yeah. That makes sense, we'd be under the Dice program. Okay, it's not that big. Alright, uh, let's see here. The lenses there, or sails there. What did I actually need for these things? Sails, chips, and frames, which are all here. Let's have a look at this thing, shall we? You have built a vertical launching silo. Now you can use it to construct the main structure of the Dyson Sphere. But before that, you need to enter the Dyson Sphere panel to finish planning the Dyson Sphere nodes and frames. After the plan is completed, the vertical launching silo will automatically launch small carrier rockets loaded with Dyson Sphere components to build the nodes and frames. Each rocket provides one structure point, and you can use the vertical launching silo panel to master the required structured points. Hmm. I have no idea. In other words, I'm guessing it's something to do in here. Ah. Oh, hello. Oh, cool. Interesting. Uh, can we, uh, how can we... This is all new to me. Uh, K. 
Okay, and I'm guessing we do something like that. Oh, uh, how do I go back? Oh, there we go. Remove. All right, I think I know what I'm doing. Let me uh, work something out. I'll be back. Okay, so there we go. I got my nodes out there now. As far as like the actual inclination, as you can see, it says latitude too high or too high. You know, upgrade stress system so I actually have to do technology research to do this. Uh, I'm guessing. Go ahead and connect the dots. Go around, and I don't know exactly what, know what this is doing, but we're gonna find out pretty soon. Uh, I will finish this up, and if there's anything else, I gotta do. This is gonna take long. I'm almost done. I'm just going around once. Uh, I'm assuming it's too late to actually adjust everything now. And open it tells me when I'm done. They can't actually see anything over that overlap. There you go. That should be it. Now what are these different things? I'm guessing styles. Decoration to uh, paint. Oh my god, you can actually paint this thing too. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll have to check that one out afterwards. But as far as I can tell, that's basically it. So when I start, when I build, when I start launching the rockets up, it's going to start building a frame around here. I think. I have no idea. And, uh, I guess that's it. Let's go back in the panel, make sure it's still there. It is. Okay. Get some power down and then find out exactly what's going on here. I gotta make more of these things. Oh my god. Anything out of mass produce, it's these things. I need iron. Iron, iron, iron. I got lots of iron over here. Uh, doubled up on the processors too. I don't know if I mentioned that. Iron's all the way over here. And take that. And what was I building? Yeah. That. Let's fly back. Gimme, hurry up. It's funny how I'm generating power, but I'm having power issues. But now there is actually something I can research in here. Where was it? It was uh, this one. And I think this is, I think it's like a, a satellite power network, so I don't actually have to have the Tesla, Tesla towers. At least I think. Oh, that. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll finish crafting those rockets afterwards, because not exactly sure how this is all going to play out, or how what is involved. One is going to guess. Hold on. One would have guessed that I was just about to sneeze, but uh, one would guess that these rockets get used up every time. So let's go ahead and launch them in and see what happens. Because I don't think they're coming home. Oh, oh, we got a nice animation. Cool. Let's actually go to the go to the map and see if we can see it. Is that it? I have no idea. Oh, there it is. Something like that. So I have no idea what that's gonna be doing. But as I thought, I'm gonna have to mass produce these things. I'm going to keep building more of these and uh, bring you back when I can actually see something. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, look at that. You can actually see it here. I go to the map. I went to the, the orbit map. And you can actually see the nodes that I'm putting in. Gives you information about them and stuff like that. Let's actually see about painting now. Where is that color wheel? Oh, here we go. Color. Uh, make them red. Oh, I like that. Cool. Alright, well, I'm gonna... Let's, let's build another 24 of these things or something, and I'll bring you back for the next step. Okay, I'm just about done here. Getting a titanium glass set up, which is there. 
Everything should be coming in. I'm just waiting on the titanium, which I forgot to... Got the inserter again, or the sorter in this one. And where was the titanium? It was over here. The long way around, as always. And we just do uh, that. Okay. So then here, uh, yeah, I've already got the crystals being shipped out to, uh, uh, ready to be shipped out, so they're going there. Next, I'm going to put the titanium glass in on uh, remote supply as well. And then we're going to bring those two and go to Lesset 2, and from there, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to use the crystals, and I think... Might have the hydrogen. I think I'm pulling in hydrogen, I'm not sure, but I think we got that elevator and we also have plenty of graphene there, so we'll go and make those, which will make the plane filters, which we can combine with the process we already have there to make the quantum chips so we can get into this. Now, as far as the deuterium fuel run, uh, yeah, we'll just have to get another... Actually, I think I'm making something up there of deuterium. I'm not sure, but I will meet you up I'm just on my way there now, and I th slow, thought I'd slow down and show you, you know, actually see the nodes that we're putting up in space. It'd be actually quite interesting to see them actually appear as we get there. But, we are here, now let's see if I can actually land at the right spot. I have no idea where that's going to be. Well, I know where it's going to be. I'm going to assume it's right here. We've got stuff blasting off, and I just crash on this right area. It is... It is. Hey, there we go. Okay, so now i got to start bringing stuff in. Uh, I do not have any room here. I have deuterium coming in. Actually, that comes in handy. So I can use that to make the fuel rods. Where am I got that deuterium going? I have it... Oh, uh, that actually works out perfect. Now, is that that one? It is. I do have tanks on me. I do. Alright. I'm going to create a buffer here. Uh, works for me. Get those kind of areas hooked up so we get a nice backlog. And that. So, let's see. So, we're full here. I do have an elevator on the other side of the planet. I think I can do some logistics there. Alright, let's go on the other side and see what we can do. Because we got to bring the crystals and the titanium glass. Which means I might need another might need another elevator. Alright, what do we got in here? One. Hmm. What do I need to build an elevator? A lot. Just a particle drop, it's okay. And what were those things? Graphene, copper, and... Motors. Oh, it's just a graphene I need. Well, what do you know? Uh... And more graphene. And more, I'm missing something else. What is it? I'm gonna say copper. copper iron or something. Anyway, I'll get this built and I'll be right back. I completely, completely forgot I was built, making a whole bunch of these here. Alright, so that actually makes that a lot easier and make the crafting time a lot faster. And build it in 30 seconds. Sure. So how are we doing here for strange matter? That is doing good. That is still chugging along. Good. Uh, got no backup in there, but we do have 450 of those things. Alright. Now, uh, let's see. What am I doing now? I am... Um, placing an elevator down in a minute. Now, I don't know... Actually, do I need an elevator? Got the two coming in here. I still gotta bring in the crystals and the titanium glass. Yeah, I do. Alright. Uh... Hmm. What was I making with these things again? I th oh yeah, the rockets. Uh, I guess I'll put it over on this. This side, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get all this stuff going and I'll bring you back when I got rockets automated up into space. 
Okay, so I'm trying to figure out why the titanium glass hasn't been rolling along, and then I realize I forgot two inserters, mm. uh, or two sorters, as always. I do have to make more of them, as always. Uh, make five of them. Ooh, I have to make them last. Alright, need water, and we also need an output. Oh, lack of item, yeah. Come on. There we go. Now that should work. Titanium glass in. Did not connect all the way. Could have sworn it did. All right, let's try this again. I might have to come around the other side. Oh, well, it's not going in either. Hmm. I wonder if it has to come around. Get that out of my face, please. Thank you. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, let's do a bit of a reroute then. Now we, let's uh, get rid of that. But now I don't need the filters only to take them out. And we'll put you in on the back side here. Okay, you're going in. Get rid of you. And then get rid of you. Let's try this again. You're not going in. Why not? Hmm. I am confused. Let me figure out what's going on here. Okay, well, after about 10 minutes of trying to figure this out, I realized I had set to uh, the, the plane sh the plane shifter thingy. The thing I actually need the glass for, not actually the glass itself. So, yeah, that was a problem. So, that is good. So, that is being supplied to wherever it needs to go, which is going to be back on less of one. I do have um, silicon being supplied into here. Not only supplying this area here, I started having issues with uh, research backlogging or not getting done because I ran out of silicone over here so I wasn't producing processors and I don't think I would have been made producing uh, particle run bands too much further so, uh, too much further after that anyway so the next step is to make these Casimir crystals so I gotta go back to Lesseth 1 where I'm gonna pull in the crystals and start doing doing more hydrogen stuff Okay, I'm back over here. So let's see if this will, if I actually have enough to do this. We're gonna do a remote demand on uh, on the hydrogen because that should be coming from uh, the new orbital gatherer I put up there. At least I think you would think. Then same on the graphene. I do have graphene out there and it's already on the way. Kind of wondered about the, the collector. Why am I not getting hydrogen? Do I have any hydrogen here? I don't know if I do. I'll have to check on that. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I don't know if this is going to actually work or not. I do have five things I need to bring in here. I forgot I got to bring um, the graphite in here. Uh, essentially, like I said, I'm trying to mass produce these. It also requires mass producing these. These I, I can actually make with what I have here right now. I got, I'm got making the sails, I'm making the processors, and I'm bringing the frames in from, we'll call it Earth. Uh, so I need that. I need the quantum processors, which are currently in the process of uh, trying to automate right now. And I need the, the plane, plane filter. The plane filter requires a titanium glass and the Casimir crystals. The Casimir crystals requires a organic crystal, graphene, and hydrogen.
And I've got most, all of it actually coming in here, but now the question is always, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to pull it and pull the things out. Uh, the reason why I have the graphite in there is because I will have to start making, mass producing these. And these are actually required for the deuterium fuel rod. And these, they're not too bad except for the fact, it's just that graphite that I need and there's not enough, not enough coal on this planet to actually do it. There's 276 and that's all there really is. With that way, see, yeah, coal. So I'm going to end up bringing it from, uh, call it Earth, non-Earth, whatever. And hopefully it'll work. But anyways, uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to start making um, the quantum circuits. So I've got, actually no, I don't, don't know, not the quantum circuits, we need to make, and we need to make the plane shifter, which we need the casimir crystal. So i got to pull out the hydrogen, the graphene, or the, yeah, the graphene and the organic crystals. Is it all out of this one? Or is it there? There it is. Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll do that. Uh, production. I want to see if I can pull all three of them out of this this one right here. See if it actually works like that. I don't think it does, but we'll find out. And let's see what works on the filter here. Actually, this might actually work. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, so that's how it's going to be then. I'll get rid of that and that, and I'll just have to bring in two two lines off of here, and then I'll just have to bring carbon in somewhere else. I think I'm going to be able to. I think I have enough room on the elevator on the other side of the planet. We could do it in that way. All right. So, oh. yeah, I've keep forgetting about the conveyors on this thing, you actually have to click, um, click inside the building. Okay, we do that. We'll get rid of those two. And then I have to set filter, of course. You're going to be graphene there. And you're going to be organic crystals. You are going to be casimir crystal. You also need power too. Power and some sorters. I really do think I should be making these auto crafting these things. Oh, that's not gonna fit. Ah, stupid thing. Uh, just add that there because we can. All right, other side. All right, and of course the container. Got a big one here. Not that it really matters. Sorter, please. Uh, uh, elevator was in the way. Or the, the elevator, the, the vertical launch silo. Alright, now we get that power back down. And I should start producing them. did that to me. There we go. Now we're rolling. Alright, casting crystals are underway, so now we gotta go ahead and start making that. Mixing that with the titanium glass. Alright, so... We're gonna come off the back side on this one. And I think we're gonna just go along here. And... I should put the assembler right here. Uh, put you in there. You are going to be making uh, uh, that thing. Alright, do that. And all that's left to do is set the filter on this end. And. Oh, helps if I actually set the filter. Titanium glass. What should we have in there? 
Not much. I did end up putting uh, more drones in here. Actually, I was crafting them, wasn't I? I'm still crafting them. You know, two minutes till those are done. Okay, so that is the plane shifter. And it's actually being actually produced. Hooray! We'll stick that in a container and deal with it when we need it. Okay, so now, plane shifter combines with a processor, right? Yes, combines with a processor to make quantum chip. I left my foundations at home, so we'll have to deal with the uh, mess of the ground as it is. And I may as well just drop it right here. Huh? Actually line that up. And just drop it right here, so this is going to be going back into the, the rockets anyways. All right, more conveyors. And it's amazing how many conveyors you actually go through in the games like this. You never really think about it. All right, we do that, and then that, and that. I set you to quantum chips. I gotta pull you out at the same time, and I gotta make more of them. Oh my god, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say I need to make more of these things. And I'm out of out of resources. I run out of motors too. I'm gonna have to start mass producing those. And I gotta wait for that to finish. So I'll be back. Okay, they are going. And I've thought about the the whole graphite situation. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna. I already build it already. I did. I'm gonna build another elevator. Uh, where am I gonna need this graphite? Um, put it over here for now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the made the drones. No, I didn't. I have enough to make five of them, but five is going to be enough because they're not going too far. So then what I'll do is I'll get the, the interplanetary one to bring him in, and then I'll get it to come over here. Or get the drones to bring it over to this one here. Uh, these drones, not the other ones. Anyway, uh, what was I doing here? Uh... So uh, that's that. So now we've got two more things to automate. We've got to get this going, which is why I'm bringing the carbon in for to do this. Now I should have everything on this planet already to be producing what I need except for the graphite. So let me try to get these things going and I will return. Okay, I am all done. I went ahead and got some more graphite set up here while I'm at it. It's because, are we low on power? Is that what's going on? Oh, we're getting there. Oh, that's fine. We'll just have to get more solar, some, some more solar cells. I am doing some research on the solar cells right now. Uh, maybe we'll start queuing up some more stuff. Uh, I was thinking about veins utilization. Try to get a little more of our veins, but that information matrix and starting to have issues with that. Hmm. Not really too worried about the. Uh, maybe. Go ahead and get logistics speed up a little bit. Uh, vertical construction, not too worried about, or that, or that. Hmm. Maybe we'll get that one going just because. And then what are we going to need next in here? I have no idea. I really don't. I'm sure it's going to be something in here that we're going to need. Uh, oh, we're going to have to get to the gravity matrix. Alright, well, let's start researching that. Anything else here I need? Uh, oh, I can't even make this. I was going to say I could research this and start making them, but I can't even make them because I need lithium for it. Uh, I did do the uh, quantum phase printing, so the, the uh, replicators are faster. This is just a uh, faster chemical plant. Alright, well, let's... Uh, how are we doing here? You haven't actually sent anything out yet, why not? Remote supply, yes. Remote supply. Oh, because I have to go back to the other planet and go with remote demand again. If it wasn't already set up. But I think we have just about everything ready to go. Uh, like I said, we are. I am working on trying to mass produce these. Uh, we are currently making these. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was trying to figure out where I was, but uh, I'll meet you at less than one. Okay, I'm back. So let's go see. Uh, okay, we'll change that to remote demand. Okay, that is coming. Good. I'm going to go over here and I'll set this to graphite and I'll set that to demand. Now I do have drones. Let's throw those in there. I just have five, but that'll be fine because realistically it's only going this far, but that's fine. All right. Uh, I need. What do I need? What do I need? All right. Where are we at here? I, uh, that is these motors. Go ahead and get those out. Man, there we go. All right, so we are turning those into the gra uh, yeah, we turn those into the super magnetic ring. So I need those, which I've got. And I got to combine that with the the magnets. Yes, <laughs> the magnets and the graphite we just brought in. Now where is that graphite? Or those magnets? I thought I had some over here. I do. What do you know? Almost like I was prepared. Alright, now how do I get this down here? Uh, I want to join it into this one. Let's see if we can just go right along like so. Let's see if we can actually sneak this all in. Uh, what would I do? Oh, yeah, the graphics are not tied. Perfect. All right, and then we we'll do this, and yay, and we'll just bring it right across here. It's not going to be perfect, it never is, as long as it works and gets the job done, I'm happy with it. Oh, you and your stupid angles. Okay, one, uh, two, and I missed. Three. All right, you are going to be making these guys, and of course, any more power. And of course, I just hit that filter. All right, give me that graphite. Perfect. Oh, and of course. Another magic sorter is missing, along with the rest of the conveyor belts, because I built in ahead of my drones. Ah, <sighs> my god. I should just go ahead and start crafting ten of them every time I need them. And that'll take a few seconds to do. So, now, all that's left, I believe, getting this produced. I do have to get these automated, but you know, like I said, everything's already here. There's a couple of automation pro steps left. Uh, one for the deuterium fuel rod, one for the Dyson sphere component, and one for the rocket. Alright, uh, that is done. Alright, let's do that. Wait for the straggler. Fly all the way down here and slam into the assembler. And did I get everything here? I did. Alright, and again. Go ahead and box this, and then hopefully I can actually get a nice backlog of these. So if I ever need them, I don't have to make them. I just just come here. All right, so that is the magnet. Now, now we gotta get to. Hang on. Oh yeah, uranium, deuterium fuel rods. So I've got titanium alloy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna need another elevator, I think. Ah, I only got these two elevators here. That kind of sucks. Anything I've doubled up on here? Graphene. What are you doing with the graphene? Why am I getting so much of it in? Did I bring it in unintentionally? I think I did. I knew I had a whole bunch here. And I'm assuming that I can keep it restocked. Alright, well, let me uh, re 
configure some conveyors and see what I can come up with. Oh, that was beautiful. I did a clear and reset and I got 10,000 items dumped on the floor for me. Yay. Fortunately, I just do this and just put it all back in there. Takes a while, but I think I might need another chest. As that was uh, <laughs> 10,000. Anyway, let me clean up my mess. Okay, I think I'm just about ready to get everything going here. I uh, got some titanium alloy on the way. So now, let's go ahead and start putting everything together. First of all, I need to get, uh, I need to get the uranium fuel rods. Or deuterium fuel rods. I need assembler, I need the deuterium, and I need the motor. The motor is there, or electromagnetic ring. Uh, deuterium is here. And what was it? The titanium alloy. Which is coming in through here, which I won't be able to get, so I'm going to have to take it out of here. Or transfer it over here. Change that to a demand. And then... I'm going to go ahead and place an assembly down here if I made some. I did. Ooh. That's actually not too expensive. Now that I think about it. 50% faster. Not the end of the world. Okay, so let's see, what are we building here? We're going to be producing those, which has to go into those. I was have to make these. Okay, so these are going to be at the very end. That's going to be the... Oh, yeah. I didn't see the window pop. That's going to be those. I have to feed Dyson Swarms. Uh, Deterioring Rods. So Dyson Swarm, well not Dyson Swarms, ah. Dyson Sphere Components, yes, I know what I'm talking about. I need Dyson Sphere Components and I need Deuterium Rods. Um, hmm. I figure where I'm going to place everything here. Maybe we'll do it this way. A little bit more organized. You get the idea. I'll do this off camera and I'll bring you back when I've got something that looks half decent. Okay, I'm back. And apparently I should have made another elevator in the first place because uh, I have no way to get the frames here. So I went ahead and made an elevator. And, uh... Okay, we'll put you there. <coughs> <I'm just coughs> excuse me. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Anyway. So yes, we got this. I did make another 10 drones, because I'm going to need it here, and this is going to be um, a frame material. A remote demand, please. And you are coming, I just have to give you power, and you're not going to reach. That's fine. Alright, so now, this is the last piece of the puzzle that we need. Uh, yeah, this actually has to go down here. So let's come down here. And I don't need to worry about that. Let's see if we can actually sneak it in the side here. Like so. And I need more sorters, of course. And I have just enough to make 10. What do you know? Uh, one second. Okay, I'm back. And apparently I have laid it all over the ground. I don't know what I dropped on the ground, but we'll find out in a moment. Let's actually find out. It'd be nice if you could actually highlight it. Now, where was that? Where did it drop on me? Oh. It's over here. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was right. Splitting up the conveyor there. Alright, so... Now, you've already got some frames, nice, uh, right materials, I'll try to get, keep that in mind. Oh, actually, I have everything set up. <laughs> that should be it. And that should be getting us our Dyson. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Now we're rolling. All right. And there we go, we have mass produced our first robot. Or have we? Uh, 
Uh, oh yeah, an output helps on this one, doesn't it? Um, 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 hmm. <laughs> See if we can get tricky with conveyors here. Probably not. Let me rearrange a few things. Okay, I am ready to go. I have created two more, two more orbits or shells, I should say. I had to color code them. I got the uh, outer one here, orange or red. The middle one, orange, and the middle the one in the center, yellow. Uh, I'm sorry about my nose; a little stuffy. All right. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and start feeding these into this machine here. All right, now. Grab a handy dandy conveyor, do that and that, and try to at least make one part of this thing look neat. Alright. Now what I wanna know is can we actually can I actually go up into space and watch them being built? I have thirty-four currently, which is gonna be enough for I think about two of them. And we are waiting on this. So yeah. Anyway, let's go up, up and up and away. See if you can actually see it where they are. I know I'm gonna have one around there. I'm gonna have one almost max diameter, I think. I think there was another one there. Come on, slow down. Let's park here and watch it all happen. And I think I forgot to bring fuel with me. Kind of curious to see how this is going to all end up. I don't think I can actually see much now. I wish we could actually see my orbits. I can actually. What is that? Oh, that's how you know that's pointing north. I was looking at some of the mini map. Alright, where am I? Wish it would show me on the map here. I have no idea. We should start seeing them fill up. There's actually quite a few, so this might take a little bit. Uh, Alright, well, I'm going to take a bit of a break, and I'll bring you back when there's something to see. Actually, there's one of them right there. Kind of curious about, like, the uh, parts between them. That stuff that all has to be sent up individually, like, if each rocket that goes up sends one segment, so first it's one of these nodes, and it's a connecting bar, and... Stuff like that, I'm not too sure, but let's let's take a little peek at what we're firing off into space here. Curiosity killed the cat. Good thing the cat has nine lives. Come on. What is this thing? Whatever it is, it looks a little too big to be firing off in that rocket. Anyway, I shall return. Grab it, grab it. Oh, I went right through it. Kind of figures. Okay, well, it looks like I might have to scale things up just a little bit. If I look in here, it actually tells me how many structural points I have. I have 70 points so far out of 8,880. Each structural point just happens to be one rocket. So that means I have to get 8,000 rockets up there. So then that means... Is build another gun. And yes, we are ready to go. We are currently launching two... Uh, using two silos at the same time. I think I'm getting them more or less... Running uh, back to back. We'll see. It all depends on the crafting speed on that, but... Doing better. We are 148 of 8,800. I don't know if we can see him yet, but if I go to the let's go to the Dyson Dyson window here. Uh, this ring is actually trying to get some bands to it. I can actually click on each individual part and see what's going on. Yeah, I can actually 
Oh wow, I can actually remove the stuff from here. Interesting. Now the question is, can I actually see it from down here? I don't know. Uh, let me see if I can load up on some fuel here. Uh, hmm. I'm lost. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, God. It's empty. Oh, I'm going to have to be doing more resource production by the looks of it. I think I have some to carry them on me. Yeah, I do. All right. It's up. Up and away. There it is. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna watch my fuel here. Actually, it would make sense to go the other way, catch up to it. This is why oh, it's actually really starting to get. Uh, really starting to get me into this game is you're actually watching all this stuff being built. Which ring was I going on? There we are. And I think when I first started playing, I had nothing out here. I've got... Well, it was 9,000 objects. We were current. Still... Still 8,600. I did uh, extend the life, but apparently it's not working as well. So I see what's going on. Yeah. So it's going to be... We're building a ring. And the ring is going to more or less hold all the solar panels together or the solar cells together to help generate power that's pretty cool i can't wait to see all this done uh, yeah so that was uh, the, the size too so yeah this is supposed to be an orange one so i'm guessing that's what the lights are going to be I haven't seen any on, on any of the other, other rings yet. It hasn't done the, the inner one or the outer one by the looks of it. But we got a long way to go. So anyways, I think we'll leave this one here. Between now and the next episode, I'll try to get uh, a little bit of boost in production. And hopefully when I come back, we'll have this ring almost, almost complete. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give me a like. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Later.